Good morning, sheep fans. Cammy's the name. Sheep's the game, and here's what's coming up on today's lambing vlog. The sheep's in a fair state. That's a disaster. Meg's just focusing the sheep, not the lamb. Well, now we're in a bloody predicament. I'm gonna try this old trick where I just lay the lamb on her head. <laughs> We've had a clear round so far this morning. One more field to check, but we're just stopping by to feed the ewes and lambs here. Some of the lambs we've been putting out over the last few days. Love this part of the job. Need to get my electric uh, snacker rigged up though. I bought a second hand electric snacker, haven't got it wired up yet. Incredible morning. The rest of the week is to be terrible, I think. Rain every day. Yes, yeah, a triplet here. Big teats. You getting this out, lass, or not? Oh, you're so close. I don't want it to stress you out. Mmm. Mum, you have some hell of a bag. That's another gimmer with a ridiculous sized bag on it. Right, lass, watch no crush that wee lamb. You're fine. You're okay. This lamb can't even relate it to those two lambs. Steady, oh, steady, steady. The amount of milk she has. I might leave the three with her. Hey, there you go, there you go. She has such a ridiculous amount of milk. I'm going to leave that third lamb now. Because she can hardly walk for the milk. And we'll come back and check her in a little bit. There's just a ridiculous amount of milk there. It might actually help her getting sucked out. Good start. I thought I saw something else pressing over here, but they've all ran thinking they're getting fed now. Now this is the bit that I'm really doubtful about. Can I even get through this gateway? Oh, I can if I go at that speed. Lily Meg. We. Oh, good luck, Meg. Great catch. Oh. Well done. Here we go. Just do it. Just do it, I don't mind. When you go. Some lass. I mean, she's not that good. I still need to do a lot of the running around. What we've got here, just a lamb. Needing finished off. I think mum, well, I'm sure she would have got it eventually. The lambs are getting so big now. I'll feel better just helping out. You were nearly there, Mum. Don't be stressed. That's what you always wanted. And just because we're here, we'll take the second one out as well. The second one always comes out a bit easier. So I'm gonna do. She's a gimmer, she's a bit upset. I try this old trick where I just lay the lamb on her head and then walk away. See how that goes. Looks a bit rough, but it just holds her for a second to let me get far enough away to, so that she thinks, oh, that's fine, he's not a threat. Doddle, Meg, doddle. Stress, stress this morning. I've just filled up the trailer with ewes and lambs to put out to grass and I went back by the field where we lambed that gimmer, left the lambs on our head that old trick that's meant to be effective, it actually usually is very effective not this time though, she's bolted and left the two little lambs lambing tours arriving in just over an hour I think what I'm going to have to do is just drop these ewes and lambs I haven't put anything in this field for four days now so these are all kind of older lambs Shouldn't be an issue. Walk up, Meg. Just try to move them away a bit with the dog, but it's not so easy because she just wants to fight with the dog. Get these out. I need to go and get fuel for the bike. Go back with the trailer. Lift the using lambs. Try and get to get to the shed for half past ten. Don't tell Marissa, but everything takes so much longer when you're just doing it yourself. Well, you guys know that. Don't tell her that though. <laughs> Thank you. 
the other big benefit is that most of these ewes have been in the shed for a couple of days. As we have a bit more space now, I'm confident these will match up. Obviously we'll be around them after the tours to make sure they're big and strong, full of the belly. They'll be fine till then. What's life without a little bit of pressure, eh? Lambs, go and find your mum. I believe in you. Okay, here she is. And we have reinforcements. Walking down into the corner. There's no holes in the fence down here. Although it's very wet, I'd rather not catch her in the in a bog, but it's quite wet here. You get, no, you get yours. Oh, no, up to my ankles. Here we go. Oh, jinx. Feet soaked. Oh. Hey, lass, there's no way to go. We don't want her. Meg, where are you? It's time, it's time. Oh. Great work, Jock. Teamwork makes the dream work. Uh, hold her there, I'll go in. Right. Ah, right. oh, I see, I see what's happened. You did well, I slowed her down, obviously. Yeah, yeah. I'll just go head first, because then if I get stuck, I can use the winch. Four wheel, four. Four low. In low. Work mode. Let's see how we go here. Is this the best bit? Oh. Nay bother. Nay bother. Bloody predicament. Easy, easy game. All right, let's get her on the high box again. Get going. We've work to do. We've work to do. Here we go. Tour one is finished, it went amazingly well. We had two sheep lamb, a single, a triplet, it was just perfect. Everybody loved the lambs. Tour two starts at 2 p.m. I'm trying to move some cheviots to other grazing before that happens. Let's try to coax these girls. Oh. Oh. Young dog getting too excited. Here she comes. Don't want to stress these girls out too much. Now these are all looking great, and then there's a crossbred sheep here that's looking very lean. She's actually got a red hip, maybe she's yellow. Okay, so didn't have time to run those sheep to the new grazing, so Jock's away with them. I'm back, waiting for tour number two. Then we can relax a bit and get back to just the, the normal lambing without the stress of hoping everyone has a good time. Although it's been great so far, to be fair. I should be getting relaxed into it now. Lizzie does all the recording. Scans the sheep. Lambing record. And it's lambing, is that 123 you've done? One, two, three, that's just the inside ones because we've not done the outside ones. She said two lambs. Yeah. What else do you put in? Don't put much at the end, but you no. could, well, it definitely would be a tap saw if you wanted to. Yeah, yeah. yeah. With a double in the shed, it's likely a cyst. Oh no, oh, hang on. No, I remember the sheep, so Cammy bought this in from outside. Oh yeah, yeah, look at the button tag. Yeah, so that was uh, I don't know if you significant. It. Did you lamb it or it's just because it's got big teats? It's a big teat one. Yeah, you're right, she lambed herself unassisted, if I remembered. So she's probably Fair, Yeah, good man, milkiness. Eh. Oh. But then we can put some... No, but I'd, I'd, I'd do call you list 
as well. You can do that, right? So big don't even need a note if she's going. But I like this. Alright, big teeth. Big teeth. Yeah. Yeah. There we go. Done. And we have problems. We came round outside sheep at lunchtime and we found a lamb that was mixed up. Here it's here. We put a yellow dot on it and you can see it's still hungry, it's still not got a mum. But it's a couple of days old, that's the annoying thing, I don't understand why that's happened. But it has, so we're going to have to try and catch it and take it home. Come by. Hi Dune! Oh that's it! Here, here! We Lie down, lie down, here, here, shh, this here, Lily Meg, Lily Meg, here, here, come by. Come by, see, see, we, we. That's a disaster, Meg's just focusing the sheep, not the lamb. And it got away. Can't win them all. See, what I'm, is that, see my problem though? Like, Lily Meg, like the lamb is fit and strong and can run like that. It has got a mum in here somewhere. But it's just not finding her. Come by. Lydon! Come by. Lydon! Hey! Come by. Lydon! Wait. Ah! Lydon! Lydon! Absolute madness that I'm out here without a stick. Like, like, unbelievably amateur. The lamb can't see me. That's fine, Meg. No, Meg. I don't want the sheep. Tactics, tactics. Oh, what a bonny lamb you are. Jeez, oh. Chief eight meals, they do leave good lambs, there's no doubt about it. Uh, problem, problem, problems. Another hungry lamb, I would say by the looks of it. Cold mouth, but it would suck. The wee lamb's okay, but it's starving. So it'll need to come home with us. Good chance I've not seen it in these rushes here, but now we've got too many pets. Hey wee lamb, you sit there, we'll do the rest of the rounds. I have to be quick here because all these mad sheep are going to run over thinking they're getting fed. Dead sheep here. These are all fed this morning, absolutely fine. And now she's lying dead, unexplained. This one will be going up to the college for a post-mortem tomorrow. Pre-lambing, I, I expect a few to die and things to happen, but not, not post-lambing. So, post-mortem for her tomorrow, we'll take a run up to Glasgow. Well, it's all going wrong uh, this evening. This sheep's in a fair state. All I can think of looking at this sheep is pneumonia being the problem, just with the snotty nose and just the ears down. But the, the weather's certainly changed today. It's, the rain has started just now. You can't see it on the camera. And we're expecting more. Like, I'm stopping feeding these sheep because I'm getting too many lambs mixed up. That's two lambs I've lifted tonight, hungry and lost. I can't see their mums because when I try to look for them, they all just mob the bike. They'll just need to go out feed. I'd rather that than the picking up hungry lambs and this nonsense of them just mobbing me. I mean, even now I'm hearing the pickup instead and they're still coming at me. Now she's running away. I don't think it's mastitis. No, no, it's not mastitis. I think it's pneumonia. One last. It's far easier to catch the lamb when it's with its mum. Now I'm trying to do this the wrong way around. Good work. No doubt the other 57 will be turn up somewhere. But yeah. There it's there, is it? Tell you, Meg. Tell you, Meg. There it is. Clam. Oh. 57. There we go. At least we've got the two of them. Oh, very depressed this evening. No, I'm not depressed. That's a stupid thing to say. It's a very depressing evening. Just when I was thinking, this is what happens. Just when you think lambing's going great. 
we do these sheep twice a day just now, the ones out we're using lambs. Feed them, I have been feeding them in the morning and then just check them again at night, of course, match things up. But I say I'm near impossible now to get them matched up because they just mob the bike and I can't see any numbers. Um, so we're stopping the feeding. That's, we'll have to. Be good to know how you guys tackle it. Don't wrong, they do it most years, to be fair. I'll tell you the big difference, actually, usually. It's my own fault. We never usually feed them from the bike. We always carried the bags across the field from the gateway. Maybe I was just getting lazy and using the bike. It's not, it's not so much, well, it is partly lazy, but it's also much faster. And maybe that's just coming back to bite us now. So we've given mum a little go of everything. She's had some Drax and hopefully help if there is some pneumonia. We'll give her a boost of the energy shot for twin lamb. Even give her a little dunt of calcium. Not sure that, that does anything in this situation, but she walked into the pen, that's the only thing I'm gonna say, but she looks bad now. I'm just keep an eye on her. I'll update you with that in the morning. There's not much more we can do for her now. Lambs have been fed. Took three quarters of a bottle each. It's getting late. It's been a terrible end to the day. Hopefully a little bit of positivity here. We have a half-bred you, one of the old girls. She's a good age now, but geez, what a lamb. She's been working away for a couple of hours, actually. We've just been keeping an eye on her, but she was almost there. There you go, lass. Oh, geez, second one's right here, is it? Oh, that's, a, that's a deal. <laughs> Oh, Cammy. Losing the plot. Had loads of triplets lamb today in the sheds with loads of little lambs we're, we're uh, lifting off and tubing the hunt. Loads of pets to feed now. Everything's stacking up against us. Lack of sleep is affecting me now. Skin's all breaking out. Things like this that probably shouldn't bother me as much as... Well, losing sheep always bother me. We lose lambs all the time. Losing a lamb once it's out the shed and past the most dangerous period is really disappointing and losing sheep like that just makes you worry you know go to bed tonight I'll sleep no bother because I'm knackered but it doesn't mean I'm not going to think about it constantly since since I brought the sheep in I've constantly been thinking about it I hope this doesn't happen to more hope they're going to be okay what have I done wrong all these thoughts you have and it's 100% this time of year the tiredness magnifies everything and I know that but that doesn't make it any better it's one of those, you know, it, it magnifies everything. And don't, I'm not like, oh God, put me in all that. We all go through it. I know that. I can look from the outside in and know that that's what's making me a bit uh, sad about it all. Anyway, that's us for this one, sheep fans. Hopefully tomorrow's a better day. But, you know, I was going to say, I don't think it will be. And that's just such a, that's not a negative thing. We had a good day today until this last run round, the using lambs. Uh, yeah, I've rambled on enough. Thanks for watching. See you for the next one. Just getting finished for the evening. The girl's up and had a wee drink of water, which is a, a very positive sign, but she's definitely not out of the woods yet. You can see the laboured breathing. <laughs>